Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I am in the 2016 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport and we're going to be performing two experiments to demonstrate the differences between two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive high, and four-wheel drive low. Now our first experiment is very simple. We're going to test straight line acceleration across a very short distance with loose surface conditions, as you can see with this kind of muddy puddle that we're in. We'll see how long it takes for it to do this in each driving mode, which should show us proportional differences based on the weight distribution of the car and the gearing used. Now the setup is very short and this is intentional because we want to make sure that we're traction limited for the duration of this short little burst to show the acceleration differences between the driving modes. So the course starts at the Toyota bag and I will line up between that and the rock and the end of the run is where the anti-roll bar is laying, so a straight line will be placed here, and when the car passes through that, that'll be the end of that time. Okay, so our first test here will just be our control run. We're going to have traction control on. It's going to be in two-wheel drive, and so I think I'm just going to do a brake hold at about 1,000 RPM, let off the brake and floor it, and then that'll be our time. So get between these two here. Looks good. Brake hole at a thousand RPM. Floor it. Traction control obviously kicking in. So it slowed it down. It seemed like it was cutting throttle there. Next we will turn off traction control completely. So it does have an open differential there in the back. So you know, I imagine it may just spin one tire when it does this, uh, but it does have an auto LSD, which we will try after this run. Okay, so line up here. A little off. There we go. So we've got it in drive. Brake hold at about 1,000 RPM and floor it. So spinning quite a bit there with the traction control off. So now we're gonna turn on that auto LSD. So what that does is it breaks the wheel that is slipping so that you can send more power to the wheel which has traction. So we'll see how it does with that. Back up just a touch. That looks about right. Okay, so foot on the brake, holding it at a thousand RPM, letting go. Ooh, quite a bit of wheel spin there. That might have just spun the whole axle the whole time. So it'll be interesting to see what the difference is between all of those two wheel drive modes. And now we're going to go ahead and put it into four wheel drive high, which in this car you can do while it's moving and while it's in drive, as long as you're under a certain speed, I believe it's like 60 miles an hour. So we are in four-wheel drive high, we have traction control off. Look to be lined up right. Brake hold 1000 RPM and let off. And as you can see, very minimal wheel slip there, so it was easy for it to accelerate. I imagine that should give us a better time. And then finally, we're going to want to do four-wheel drive low. So for this, you do need to stop, put it in neutral, have your foot on the brake, slide it over to four-wheel drive low. So now we are in four low. We have traction control off. And this does change the gearing dramatically, so it may not be able to hit higher wheel speeds, um, but it should be able to put down more torque as it's lower geared. Back up just a touch. Very scientific test, am I right? All right, so we're in position. We've got it in four low, traction control off. Brake hold at about 1,000 and floor it. And that was quick. <laughs> so it had plenty of grip there and plenty of torque with the lower gear ratio, so it was able to just launch out of there. I'm imagining that that will be our quickest time. Uh, that was pretty impressive. Now for the second test, we're just going to be going over this hill in those five different driving modes. Um, and I'm just going to be creeping over it to make it as difficult as possible for the vehicle. And that way we can see the difference between the driving modes. Now two weeks ago I was here and this was covered in about eight or nine inches of snow. 
and now it is dry and sunny. That's Oregon for you. So two-wheel drive, traction control is on, our most basic mode, and, oh, whoops, I'm not in two-wheel drive. Now we're two-wheel drive, and let's go ahead and creep up and over. Now these tires might be good enough that, and it's dry enough that we'll just slowly inch over this thing. There's traction control kicking in. Cool, all right. All right, so next we will test this with no traction control. Everything completely disabled and no auto LSD. And as you can see there, that's just the parking sensor going off saying that there's something behind me. Uh, the traction control, it's just gonna spin. So it looks like it was actually spinning both tires, which is good, but one more than the other. It looks like the rear left. So we'll go ahead and turn on that auto LSD and see if it can make it up the hill with that. So it definitely did better, uh, but once again, I can see by where I was spinning that I was going a little bit higher, but once again, not able to get over. So we're going to go ahead and put it in four high. All right, it is in four high, traction control is off, and we're just going to inch up this hill. No fuss, no wheel spin, easily went over. And I was looking at the tires on this, they do look uh, pretty solid. They've got some sipes in them, some zigzags, so I think they're gonna do pretty well in most conditions anyways. Uh, and of course, when it's dry and sunny like this, it's gonna make it pretty easy for it to get over. So just for fun, obviously it's capable of doing it, but we will put it in four low and see how it does crawling over with a little bit more torque. put it in neutral, push this in, put it over into four low. We are in four low, back into drive. And now we can just inch over this hill. So you'll notice the RPM's up a bit as a result of the gearing change, making it very easy for it to crawl over, very little effort required because of the gearing advantage. That was really cool actually. It never went above a thousand RPM and just inched right on over. It's pretty awesome. So there you have it, there's the differences just between using the rear only for power, using four high and four low, and looking at the speed differences and acceleration with poor surface conditions. And I've really enjoyed driving this Tacoma, it seems like a really nice truck, uh, it's cool interior, it's got a nice screen here, um, and I like all the different off-roading features, so this has been enjoyable to drive. Thank you all for watching, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below.